Hi and welcome. My name is Alex with Plugin Alliance. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the DSM V3. DSM stands for Dynamic Spectrum Mapper. And as the name implies, this works as a dynamic processor. However, it's not just another compressor in the market because the uniqueness of what the DSM can do is that it captures the frequency response of your material, giving you musical sounding compression. For starters, we're going to use one of the presets under template called Start Adjust. This is going to set up our compressor to work in limiting mode. Attack is the fastest, release is the slowest. The parametric EQ parameters on the bottom are turned off and the limiter is engaged. So we're going to find the loudest part of our material and we're going to hit capture so that it can capture the sonic imprint of our song. The white frequency curve reflects the threshold curve, and we can dial this up or down. But as we adjust the threshold on our compressor, it's maintaining that frequency curve that it just captured. So let's see what happens if we compress about 15 dB of gain reduction and we boost the output gain to hear the effects. Let's check it out. With these settings, we're compressing about 20 dB, which is ridiculous. However, there are no weird side effects or artificial sounds. And the reason for that is because it's applying this EQ curve to the compression and maintaining the original sonic characteristics of the song. Now that you have an idea what the DSM can do, let's dial in some more moderate settings. So for starters, I'll bring down the ratio, I'll increase the attack and bring the release down. Let's check it out. You're going to notice that with the compression now enabled, we're squeezing the low end a bit, but it's giving us an overall presentation that's more packaged. Now in a traditional compressor, when you set the attack to 10 milliseconds, it's going to apply that to the entire frequency spectrum. However, DSM V3 offers the timing sliders for low frequency and high frequency. When I move the slider up, it's going to open up the attack on the low end frequencies allowing my bass and my kick to breathe a little bit more. So let's check that out. So now you can hear the low end a little bit more punchy and clarified while still maintaining the compression of the processor. The high frequency slider slows down the release on the high end, but we're going to leave that alone. There are a couple of other parameters that I want to show you here before we move on, and that's the limiter. This is one of my favorite functions in this plugin because it allows for smooth limiting 
without any harsh artifacts. When I turn the limiter off and I increase the gain makeup, you're gonna notice some internal clip indicators. However, when I engage the limiter, it's gonna activate the limiter at the end of the signal path. Now you might ask yourself, what if I don't wanna apply this frequency curve to this song, but I wanna apply it to a different song? Well, you can do that as well. You see these capture curves can be saved into the presets, but they can also be saved to a local folder on your computer, which basically means that you can go through your favorite songs, capture the frequency curve, save them, and use them at a later time. This allows for quick AB referencing, or if you simply like the sonic imprint of some of your favorite tracks, you can apply them to your existing mixes. So now that you have a better understanding of how DSM V3 works, let's use it in a real scenario. We're gonna load up the final mix of this track with vocals. We're gonna capture our sound and we're gonna dial in the dynamic section. Let's check it out. So I hope you picked up a couple of tips from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below on the comments here on this video. I'll also leave a link on the video to download this product from the Plugin Alliance website. Again, my name is Alex. Thank you guys so much for watching.